The fastest and most powerful Kia production car to date has touched down in Australia and not surprisingly, it creeps the Korean brand into new pricing territory as well. This is the $100,000 Kia EV6 GT. There is so much hype around this new model and for good reason. Before production cars begin trickling into the country, we've been afforded a sneak peek. Let's take a closer look. The garden variety Kia EV6 was recently named the 2022 Car Sales Car of the Year, so you know this new GT variant has really good bones. What we have here is a high performance dual motor version of the regular EV6. It's built on the same EGMP platform and it's even made on the same production line. At that $100,000 figure, it sits $12,000 upstream of the current flagship, the GT line, and about $30,000 dearer than the most affordable EV6 variant. In terms of power, you're getting 430 kilowatts and 740 newton meters, which translates to a 0 to 100 time of three and a half seconds and a top overall speed of 260 kilometers an hour. Yep, from a Kia. So power here is sourced from the same 77.4 kilowatt hour battery as the current EV6 GT line. So as a result, range does come down a little bit with all of that power and torque on tap at 410 kilometers claimed. But powertrain aside, what has Kia done to really distinguish the GT from its stable mates? Well, they've started with the brakes, that's the easy one. You can see the big four piston calipers at the front there, 380 millimeters at the front, 360 millimeters at a rear. There's also independent double wishbone front suspension up the front and the introduction of electronically controlled adaptive dampers. The steering variable ratio steering is also changed as well. It's now down to 2.3 turns lock to lock. Now you might be asking yourself, why would you want steering so fast? Well, that's because this car also has drift mode. It's enabled by an electronically controlled limited slip differential and basically works the same way that drift mode works on a lot of internal combustion cars. Inside the GT builds on the words of the existing EV6. It's a very similar cabin layout, I won't lie, but there are enough little differentiating features to make it feel a little bit special. The obvious one is the bucket seats. I jump in, it's a really sporty seat. Kia says that it's manual adjustment only, and it feels like you sit a little bit higher in the cabin than the current electrically adjustable seats, but we'll have to just see in due course. Otherwise, green accenting and stitching on the seats and the steering wheel, they of course match the brake calipers fitted to this car. And there's now this new GT button. This car has a standalone GT mode. And I think that's gonna be very fun and very playful on a circuit. The Kia EV6 GT will be supported by a vehicle to load function and an 800 volt charging architecture when it arrives in Australia in early 2023. That will allow owners to charge from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes using a 350 kilowatt DC charger. There's already so much excitement around the Kia EV6 GT and although we're yet to formally drive it, you can sense that this is going to be a befitting flagship to the Kia brand.